Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The purchases slash receive inventory window is used to enter purchases from vendors and also enter inventory received from purchase orders you have placed. Just as in the sales invoicing screen, you have two tabs into which you can input information. The apply to purchase order number tab and the apply to purchases tab. To access the Purchases Receive Inventory window, select Tasks from the menu bar, and then choose the Purchases Receive Inventory command. When filling out the Purchases Receive Inventory window, start by selecting the desired vendor ID from the Vendor ID field at the top of the form in order to show open purchase orders you have entered for the vendor on the Apply to Purchase Order Number tab below. Now if the vendor has no open purchase orders, then the Apply to Purchases tab will come forward instead. At the top of this window is the Invoice Number field where you can enter the invoice number for the vendor's bill. This can be left blank if the invoice wasn't received with the items. Just make sure that the Waiting on Bill checkbox is selected instead. Then enter the date of the vendor's bill into the date text box. You should also see the vendor's name and address and your name and address at the top as well. If this shipment you are receiving is fulfilling a purchase order and you are using the form to indicate that, the account will be assigned on the purchase order. For all other purchases, it simply defaults to the last accounts payable account used on a purchase transaction. Now you select the Apply to Purchases tab to enter items purchased that are not associated with the purchase order. You can also place items that you received but didn't order within the purchase order on this tab as well. Now when a vendor without open purchase orders is selected, this tab automatically appears. And here you enter the quantity, item, description, general ledger account, unit price and amount for the items that you purchase or receive in addition to items shipped from a purchase order. Note that you would select the Apply to Purchase Order Number tab to receive items against open purchase orders for vendors. This tab will automatically appear when you select a vendor with which you have one or more open purchase orders. So the first thing that you would do here is to select which purchase order to receive against by using the drop down that appears after the apply to purchase order number label in order to select a purchase order from the drop down list. All open purchase orders for the selected vendor are listed. On this tab you will then see the numbers that were ordered in the selected purchase order, the number remaining to be shipped, the number received, the description, the general ledger account, the unit price, and the line item amount. At the bottom of this window are fields that affect the balance. The other payments and credits displays the sum of all payments that have been applied to this invoice. This doesn't include any payments entered in the amount paid at purchase field. The amount paid at purchase field allows you to make a full or partial payment when you receive the items. You then enter a reference and a general ledger account that you use to pay the bill. The invoice total shows the sum of all lines on the purchase invoice and the net amount due shows the calculated value based on invoice total minus amount paid at purchase. And when you're finished, simply click the Save button to save your transaction. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.